Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 218, April 26th, almost September. Is that the fall or the end of the summer? I don't know. Whatever it is. It's still a little bit April warm 20, here. I think you meant August August 26th? Oh, my goodness. It's not April. It's August. Woo! Still, I think we're at the end of the summer, but someone else probably can inform me that, that correctly. Um... All right, as always, these meetings are recorded for those of you that are not with us right here, right now. Uh, if you are here, just go ahead and say hi. Jacob, I know you're around, lurking in the dark corners of Twitch, I guess. I don't know what that is. Hey, uh, what are we doing today? We're going to do triage uh, because it's been three weeks because we missed last week and bumped it to this week. Uh, we're going to do design discussions next weekend uh, or next weekend. Man, next meeting? I should just give up. I'm not going to be able to speak this meeting. Uh, and then we're going to do triage of the old V4 issues, Bob said that we only had one page left. I went and checked, and he was right, which is actually quite exciting. So if <laughs> – no, I'm not going to say it. We're going to move on to uh, doing trash, and then we'll, of course, do questions and comments. So, Bob, ready to do trash? Well, it's exciting that I'm right, so, yeah, let's do it. Yes, yes. Well, this is this is new triage, not old triage. Yeah. Um, and you have the first issue. Are we skipping it still? You know, if we – Met on August 11th. I could have done it because it was exactly six months old, but no, I missed that window. So <laughs> that was the blocking issue. All right. Uh, it looks like someone wants a feature and chose not to fill out our template. I don't know why people do this. Um, they want us to update the RTF and automatically update the year inside it. I think I, this is not a good feature. I think that's wrong. I don't think yeah. you can do that. Yeah. So, no. Uh, port Wix standard BA files and use page. Again, someone decides they don't need to fill out the template, but whatever. <laughs> um, Sean, you've had some discussion about this. Um, I just wanted to make sure he wasn't going to try to try port to it, it himself. Right. Um, or port it directly. Right. Uh, what do we do with this? This one in particular. Close it uh, and say, no, we're not going to port this, and then someone can open a new issue for actually implementing it with standard BA. Is that the right answer? Uh, I mean, I, I don't know what's wrong with just leaving this and using okay. this as the issue. All right. We can do that, too. So with standard BA and v4 needs the new files in use behavior. Is that the answer? Yeah. And someone needs to go off and do that. That's right. And you're not signing up to do it? Nope. Which leaves, I'm not going to get to it. Bob? Jacob? This I'm, is this is actually really, I mean, it's hard to test this stuff. That's not fun. Be my that's for sure. sure. <laughs> it's really yeah, it's fun. not a... It's not a, ooh, let's do this for fun. It's a, ooh, let's do this and figure out how we set up files in use, especially if the con if there's the concern that Sean's pointing out about restart manager versus not. Yeah, it's, um, it's annoying. MSI behavior on this is annoying. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it wouldn't be top of my list or middle for that matter. Sean, do you have a feel for how gnarly this is? And I don't think Jacob's talking about hanging him. Well, I mean, I think we need to discuss why, whether to change the files and use API between burn and the BA. Okay. Are we doing that in four? Or is this, does that automatically qualify this for a V next? I, well, I mean, I would ideally yeah. want to figure that out before if I was going to work on this issue. Right. So that means that someone needs to jump on it right away or we're not taking it anyway and we'll just do it in five, making you know, making that API different, better, whatever. Unless we're just going to let people just port it directly from three and then we'll have all the same things that are wrong with it in three. I don't know how much you guys care about how correct it is right now. Uh, 
what do we have right now at all? It's a separate page in the Wix BA, oh. so it'll switch away from the progress page to the files and use page. And then it's kind of assuming that Restart Manager is being used because the options that are presented are pretty much the options that apply when you have Restart Manager. That, sorry, that's the V4 behavior? That's the current V3 behavior. V3, what's the V4 behavior? To be decided. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> ideally, ideally it would be a pop-up dialog instead yeah. of a separate page right. at a minimum. Right, yes. Got it. So there's so no right. restart behavior in four. There's no files in use. Files, sorry, files in use behavior in four. Got it. Um, I I kind of agree with Jacob. Probably better to bring it over, knowing that it's not improved, and then leave it open as a. Do we want to make it like as a well? Burn needs to improve to make the experience better. Was well, that true? Does burn actually need to improve to make an experience better? Well, Wix standard BA can't tell the difference between whether there's restart manager or not. Yeah, that's such a such a crazy design that they have in there. Yeah, because you're and, really like, yeah. And if we if we take a pull request where they add a page to Wix standard BA, we can never take that out. So well, until we next. If we want, if we really want it to be a pop-up dialog instead of a separate page, then someone would really need to do that instead of porting it as a separate page. The only problem with the separate dialog is it would still. Uh, we would still probably want to make it theme mutal based so that people could update it, update the look and feel, um, and then localize it. Yeah, and there's a lot of work here. Um, problem, so without changing the API between burn and the BA, we can't we can't make it aware of the difference between restart manager and no. Is that true? That's true. Okay. How bad is the behavior if you don't have restart manager but you use the restart manager return values? Wait, the button doesn't do what it says it does. Does it do the opposite? Uh, you'd have to click through to that bug. I don't remember what. Okay. Okay. No worries. Well, so it kind of turns into who's going to do the work. Um, I'm inclined to say that to market needs design, we'll leave a comment saying, hey, we're not looking at doing this in V4. If you want to pick this up, let's talk about the design and get it done pretty quick and leave it open for the next, probably for two meetings is kind of my thinking to see if anybody picks it up, right? Um, if he was just like, here, you guys need to do this. It's like, ah, th th there's more to this than we want to take on than where we're at. So probably not going to happen to V4 um, at this point in time, unless someone picks it up and let it float for a couple meetings. I think that'll probably happen to see if this comes back if that uh, prompts someone to go jump on it. That includes Jacob if he wants to go take a shot at it. Um, now, he is the one who did the V3 feature. Ah, well, that helps, doesn't it? Maybe. As, oh, he wants to push back against the BMW dialogue. I see. Opening dialogues from other dialogues? I mean, all error dialogues do that exact same thing. Yeah, I, I mean, don't. I don't know. That's not a. This is not the reason to not do what he's saying. Because really, theme mutals. I mean, yes, I know it's a dialogue, but it's a wizard experience. It's not just a dialogue. So that's not the right argument for this. 
I mean, by the time you're at the apply phase, you're showing progress in the UI. Yeah. You've you've already gone through the wizard. Yeah. Well, progress is it depends how you consider the wizard part of it. Yeah. Fine. It, this is not the argument of dialogues. Over none of them are no. none of them are dialogues. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I mean, they're not dialogues. Yeah. They're pages. <laughs> like it's just a window. And we absolutely pop other dialogues over the top of it if we need to. Um, so that's not the argument. Um, all right. Well, he was responsive to that and probably didn't have any response to Bob's um, thing. So um, so how much should it be a modal, Sean? Versus a versus just porting it. I don't have a strong feeling for it. It just seems really weird to me that you go from the showing the progress of the installation, and then you need the user to respond to something, and you're doing that by hiding the progress and showing something well, different. I I 100% agree with you. Modal is the right way to do it. But so, do we push back and say, yeah, this needs to be redesigned as a modal? I mean, I I think so. Okay. But so why don't we put that in here? I don't have a strong opinion, so I'm not, I I'm kind of like yeah yeah. So um, my only feedback on on that is that it seemed to really kind of complicate the code what the modal in standard ba yeah the 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 modalness the fake the pseudo modalness seemed to really mm, kind of complicate the code that could just be my impression but it seemed that there was you know there were a number of checks about yes i'm showing a you know there's a there's a flag for yes i'm showing modal ui and I don't, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that was just a, a an impression I got. Um, because of this so feature be, or because of some other feature we were trying to do, throw an error? No, be, to, in order to show this one, in order to show this page, got it. this special, this page, in order to show this page specially. Got it. Okay. Uh, those are, in my opinion, two very good reasons to say, yeah, if you want to bring it, make it a modal dialog. This argument is not a good argument. I mean, maybe we'll come up with a different argument, um, but this argument is is not a valid argument. So well, it's valid, just not very good. Well, no, it's not valid because we don't view it as dialogues. <laughs> no, okay, that's fair. I, I, I don't disagree with this statement, but it's not valid for Wix standard BA because Wix standard BA is not a dialogue when it's running. Like that's not right. It's not experience. So okay. Um, all right. So I think that's the feedback to put on. It's like, um, yeah, no, it needs to be a modal dialogue. This is not the right argument, um, and to bring it back. And Sean's point of it's not perfect. It's like yeah, but nothing is odd as well, given that we had something in V3. So I could that argument. I can see like yeah, okay. Fine. So let's bring it in appropriate for with standard BA and then still have the issue open on making burn more helpful and knowing how to show the correct buttons given the fact that there's two files in use dialogue inside MSI. Right? That's essentially right. what so, that comes down to. There are there are two knobs here, right? One is, you know, we're mildly broken for the non restart manager case. That requires burn work. Um, the second is we don't have the files in use. We don't have any files in use UI. We should have it. Right. Right. So we have we have two knobs here. Because one option is if we don't do the burn work, we should still we should have something. I, I, I would will, I, not... I'd accept his argument that we should bring his stuff over the appropriate way. Well, I I and you would agree we that could we should also, have something. 
uh, I, I agree we should we should have something. I'm not yeah. sure that we want to bring over. Again, this was my initial impression of of that change right. is that it added complexity in the in Wix standard BA. So another option is that we you know we bring the functionality back via a you know like a task dialog or something. We're not going to get the right behavior without the burn change. We're not going to get the right behavior for um, non restart manager cases. Right. But we would at least get the equivalent of what we had. And I think that doing that would be easier. We still have to figure out loc, presumably, but we wouldn't have to figure out, we wouldn't have to add a page to the theme, to every single theme. Right, um, and deal with the complexity there. Correct. And the strings are already loc strings, so theoretically we could do something like a task dialog pretty quickly. Okay. All right. Yes. Th does that sum up your spots too, Sean? Sound reasonable? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Great. All right. I will. I will take this and take a look at it. Okay. ASP.NET MSI installer with error code. Okay, so ISIS custom action failed. And there's a log file. Are these log files? Is that a log file? It is a log file. I've never seen it embedded like that before. Huh, interesting. Mm, nothing failed in that one. All right, I'm just taking quick peeks at these to see if they show the error message. Neither one of these have that error message in them. Oh, fail to schedule transaction changes to IS. Oh. All right. This is in V3? Huh. Weird. Um, oh, it's built with Wix 1. Uh, yeah, that, just noticed that. Um, okay, um, I think we should close this and tell them that we don't support Wix 1.0 anymore. <laughs> so we don't, I, I'm not going to go hunt down what's going on here. So, yeah, we don't support oh. Wix 1.0. Definitely not Wix 1.0. Yeah. So should we just ask? Oh, you know, wait, what? Sorry, I just noticed in the log there's a date, 2008, July 10th. This doesn't make any sense. It really does not make any sense. No. Um, no. <laughs> make it go away. He can come back again with more correct, or she can come back with correct information later. That's just nonsense. Um, not going to hunt down what's going on there. Too much weird. Too much weird. Yep. Too much weird. All right. So I was going to say that went pretty quick. Or, sorry, that triage might go quick. The speedy might go quick, which would all be good. Um, I didn't want to jinx it because I didn't know what kind of things we were going to hit there. And that actually went okay. So moving on, um, this is what the future of our design discussions will hold, as I just mentioned, the ideas that we might kind of get through here quick, um, just for today. So we'll pick up here in two weeks more of the design discussions. There's enough stuff floating around for us to do that. We don't have to close these right now, right here. So that means we go back to triage, but this time with all of our old issues. And this is wrong. This is not the number we're on. I've updated one, but not the other number. We are actually on 6424. I didn't know I had the number in two places. Uh, so if we go back to triage 6424, the interesting thing I want to show is that oh, we are on the last page. And there's only, I think, 24 numbers on this. I counted them. So which means there's 25 per page, which means we're getting down there. Yay. Also, these are the newest issues. So I'm hoping a lot of them are like, yeah, we should fix that. Because um, we opened these within the last, you know, ooh, April. That's not even. I was going to say within the last year, but that's not even, what is that, 
four months. Anyway, all right. Insured table should be available for any MSI table. That's assigned to me. It's, that's really interesting. Yep, we should definitely look at that in 4.0. Core integration test host crashes intermittently. Sean opened this. Um, I'm going to look at this as I go through some of the things. Probably a weird proxying issue, pinvoke issue, or something like that. So I'm going to hopefully track that down. Um, .NET Frameworks extension, package definitions failing signature verification, 6438 and 6447 are both about the Authenticode stuff, which we will discuss in a meeting. Um, that was one of those items listed that we're skipping for the day, so we will come back, but we're definitely going to keep these open until we decide what to do about those uh, research tasks. So that's kind of what I'm hoping. Non-permanent... Should, should, we, should we mark this? Are we aware... Yeah, I think I have the number in the okay. item that we're discussing it. If not, okay. I will go back and update the slide deck to include these numbers. Um, Non-permanent XE packages should require detect condition. Yes. Yes, and that's assigned to me. I was thinking this is the, oh, XE package should be consistent about being uninstallable and repairable. And I, this is the other part of it that is I'm sorry. Yep. All right. I have, we may have to come back and discuss these because as I was working on these, um, I got a little bit turned around and wondering if this, if there's not a slight complication to this, but if that is true, I, we will discuss that at a different time. But those are definitely need to be solved. Uh, final NuGet packages need to, are duplicating native binaries. Yes, need to fix that. PDB should be only in the symbol packages, yes, should fix that. Um, NetFX package groups should use Wix variables for download URLs. That's not a sign That's in. part of the previous discussion. Is right. it? Okay. Yeah. Okay, got it. So that goes with the, these other two up here. Got it. I will yep. tag all three of those together. Cannot create multi-arch Wix libs. Yes. <laughs> That's going to be a fun one. See, now we're getting to the ones that I remember us talking about very <laughs> recently that I'm... Not looking forward to solving some of these. <laughs> um, switches that take arguments, bad arguments, yes, need to improve the switch error handling and including help. So that's not a problem. Uh, preview zero does not generate an MSI file. This is a bug that someone opened. Totally awesome to have that bug. We'll happily fix that. Um, help should print the semantic version. That seems reasonable, should do that. Uh, Visual Studio 2020, I want to save this. We'll talk about that after we get past the MS buildisms, um, which is the thing that's in front of me. Identifier uninstalled XA6 cannot be found. Bob has that. This is the um, ARM 64ification of things, I expect, X probably. Um, Fallout and from that. version. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Version. Oh, and version ID. identifiers. Yep. All right. So that's that. Um, stand directory needs a schema index. I have this on my laptop. I need to finish getting that off of there. Wix 4 doesn't verify component feature mapping. Yeah, I should fix that. Core integration test host crash access violation during MSI database import. I'm wondering if that is similar to the other issue up here about intermittently crashing with set external UI. I want to just right. poke at that. C, Wix bundle execute pack cache for, oh, the, the, the. it's not accessible to the VA process. Sean, you have that, so uh, yeah. that issue will go. Uh, rollback of bundle upgrades package dependencies, brace dependencies, we've discussed that. Um, and I'm not going to rehash it. I don't remember where it landed. Uh, we might just have to come back and get that assigned to somebody, but we can do that at a time. Support bundle automatic containering like MSI, and we'll see where that goes. That's the whole uh, one of the near things. Um, Xlog does not get passed to the elevated um, process. Extended log, Bob has taken that. The minor upgrade handling. Sean has, and XC can't find globally installed packages, which is very strange, but um, someone else opened that. Sean opened the bug for it, which is great, and I will fix that. Wow, that last page did go easily, mostly because we've already seen all this. <laughs> given the right. We remember everything, so it's easier to... Yeah. And, then, and the ones that need discussion are open for having discussion about them. We're just mm -hmm. not doing that today. Oh. Finally, triage that went like that. 
other things going on, things people want to talk about, stuff that's out there, um, things to discuss. We delayed a week because Sean looked into the future in a very intelligent way and bumped the Wix meetings by a week so that we don't collide with Thanksgiving, which was a brilliant idea. So that says the next meeting is on September 9th, if I'm looking at things correctly, so 9-9. Um, and we will continue to roll on like normally. Uh, from there, same place, same time, all that kind of good stuff. Do you guys have anything else to discuss? No, I'm no. good. All right. So I'm mostly delaying always in this time because I know there's a little bit of lag for the Twitch stream. Maybe someone's writing a book out there. Um, but it's just Jacob, and I assume he's just chilling and doing doing well, um, I hope. Uh, not writing a really long diatribe that we will then read. Um, I probably should say something at the beginning of questions and comments that says, hey, if you want to ask something, say me or some other short word, and then enter your very long question, should it be very long. So I don't have to have this very long rambling <laughs> paragraph to make sure that everything is good. So anyway, I filled the time and Jacob has uh, backed me up with the note. We're good. So we'll be back in two weeks right here, right now. Uh, we will not be doing Wix before triage anymore, or triage of old issues. We'll still be doing triage of anything that comes in new. So that'll take a block of the meeting out, which will be fantastic. And we will pick up a design discussion um, in its place and continue to make progress on shipping the Wix V4. So two weeks from now, uh, we'll be back. It's another Thursday, another time, uh, start at 930. And until then, you guys uh, have a good time. We'll talk to you there. Bye. Bye. Bye.